Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, this is just a quick video just to talk about some of my um, cactus and succulent losses that I've had uh, this summer, um, or early summer I should say. And unfortunately, as the old saying, um, shush, 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 happens. <laughs> and um, obviously, sometimes you don't know what on earth you're doing wrong. This just happens now. This plant here is my Astrophytum nudum myriostigma. Um, as you can see, it's completely gone. Um, I did try everything to try and save it, including cutting bits off the top and everything, um, putting it out here, but unfortunately it's completely just hollowed out all the way through. So that's a goner. This one here is actually a Crassula um, cutting that I had, and it was doing ever so well. It fattened up, um, and again, I, I don't overwater. It's a well-draining soil mix, but that just sort of as well, gone as you can see from the base and this one here is my um, 20 year old Mammillaria spinosima plant that I've had for a very long time and unfortunately this one and the other one I had came down with a very bad case of mealybugs and the other plant I managed to save and I thankfully made a video on how to treat mealybug on very spiny cacti and I sprayed it with isopropyl rubbing alcohol and I've managed to save the other one and it's doing really well now but unfortunately I caught this one too late and unfortunately although I managed to treat all the mealybugs and it's completely mealybug free the damage was already done they'd sort of punctured a lot of the the wounds and the plant has actually rotted from the inside out as in this case here and I've tried my best to try and remove some stems but as you can see it's completely hollowed and rotted through which is such a shame because there's nothing of this plant I can save um, which I'm very sad about but that's what happens um, sure 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 happens as they say <laughs> and um, I always say that you know because I've had these plants in my collection these two anyway for a very long time over 20 years um, I sometimes think that plants like humans can only go on for so long and um, it means that it gives you room then for some more plants and um, they had a good life while they were here <laughs> so guys um, just talking about the plant losses there sometimes people will mail me and say oh god I don't know what I've done wrong I've done and uh, you know I'll ask them a few things well, what are you doing and I said sometimes you know this just happens and I have it happen quite a lot even though you can't think of anything you've actually done um, as in this case pests in these type of plants do hide for a long time because they're so hard to see and um, both me and Hans are very 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 careful for checking for pests but there's only so many you can physically see however good eyesight you've got <laughs> and um, once they puncture the wounds then that's it it's they set in which is awful but um, as you say, I don't know what on earth happened with this Mirio stigma. We just, it was doing so well, it was forming a flower bud. And then the one morning I got up and there's a big piece missing out the top. I think possibly some type of animal or, or some creature took a piece out the top. I don't know what, because no small insect would do that. And, in, and although I treated it at the time, infection got straight in there and I literally didn't have any chance to do anything with it. And as you say, um, this sometimes does happen. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I just thought you'd, that I'd share that with you anyway. So it's not flowers or anything a bit more nicer today. But like you say, you can't have the good without the bad, I suppose. <laughs> Especially when it comes to growing cacti, succulents and all types of plants. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's Hans in the background. <laughs> I'll just show you some of the other plants that are doing well and the greenhouse that is thriving. Thank goodness. And uh, look at that for a beautiful day, guys.